Hmm, yes. What do we have over here? Hmm. We got some stuff. I got a, a trick bike. BMX. Yeah. Got an extension cord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a... I don't know, some kind of shitty Cranbrook fucking bike. I don't even plan to put an engine on this one. But, I might be taking these fenders, this chain guard, these handlebars, and this seat. I'm going to put it on that green bike. But anyway, let's see what we got over here. Ooh, look. Brand new push mirror. And I got about, let's see, let's see. One, two, three, four, five gas cans. Because you know there's a pandemic going on. Or as I like to say, plandemic. Oh, look. There's another fucking push mirror. Hmm. Nice. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Ooh, this bike looking sexy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look. Yeah, throttle. Yeah, all decked out in chrome. <gasps> Double brake lever? Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? Let me see. In the front? Wow, that's badass. Oh, looky here. It says Pirate Cycles, Westchester MA, Racing Parts. Hmm. Chain tensioner. A mud flat guard, or as I like to call it, a fender. Plastic one. Standard. Reflector. Gotta have it. So nobody fucking rear ends ya. Ooh, look. It's not that piece of shit rag joint shit. It's a fucking hub mount sprocket adapter. With a big sprocket. That's for hill climbing. Now what's this? Oh, mongoose pedal part? Get the fuck out of here. And it works on the fucking Schwinn? Wow, I didn't know bike parts were interchangeable. Most people don't know that though. They're fucking retarded. Oh look, it's got a new pole start. But wait, what, what the fuck's this? Yep, brake cable. I don't use that rope pulley shit no more. See? And it's attached. Ooh, reflector, yeah. Got a cup holder. Got a phone holder too, but really don't need the phone holder. I just need the cup holder. Clutch. That fucker's still tight too. See, it activates that. Fucked up carburetor. It works, but I have to fucking tune it still. See? It says, Yong Dong Skyhawk. This is the air mixture screw, and this is the fucking idle screw. And I probably have to replace the jet inside the fucking motor, because... It's having a problem staying on my running. And what's this bad boy right here? Ooh. Yeah. How many mileage do I have on that bitch? 831.6. So that's 831 miles, point six. God damn. This beast is still killing it. I also got headlight in the front. Standard. It's not on, by the way. Mountain bike tire. Oh, yeah. Mm, so sexy. And I got a fucking battery mount. Just got the fucking cords. Also got badass tail light. Check that out. Yeah. And I got a fucking dirt bike tire. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm And she's still working, too. Check this out. That's a chain tensioner. 
as a heavy duty spring and chain stays nice and tight see I don't give my chain much play other people give their fucking chains too much play when they use that rag joint shit on their fucking wheels okay now, let me give you a little tip that fucking shit attaches to the spokes and when you're riding along okay and you're riding along you're riding along yeah woo wee and shit right this is tugging at your fucking wheel going like this right with the rag joint shit and what happens is over time these spokes okay on this side of your fucking wheel I don't care if you're a master mechanic or you're a fucking uh oh I'm a Mr. Fix It I know how to attach the fucking pineapple sprocket rag joint bullshit well guess what over time that chain will fly off, and that little fucking plastic roller, most of you, you know, bike building experts, okay, you put it on this end, and it pushes up on the chain and shit, that plastic will get into your fucking chain, okay, and it'll keep your chain from fucking moving all loosey-goosey, it'll lock up, and then the fucking, uh, the roller will fucking cause the shit to go into your wheel, Smash up against your spokes, I know, because I had it happen to me. And then the fucking chain will fly off. Wrap around where this part is, where the rubber shit is, and snap your fucking spokes. I had it happen to me many times. Guess where that rag joint shit went, right in the fucking garbage. Anyway. Battery mount. Headlight. Tail light. Now watch this. Most of you uh, bike building experts don't have that shit. I got a homemade battery mount. That just to the fucking bike frame. See? And it's small enough to where it doesn't weigh the fucking bike down. Like most of you idiots seen on YouTube. Some kid. Uh, I forget what the dude's name is, but he's got a YouTube page. And he's got a giant ass fucking car battery that sits like this up on his bike. And motherfucker's probably weighing the motor down. And what, uh, when you get to riding and shit, it wears and tears on the fucking engine. Y'all are fucking stupid. Anyway, this is a 12 volt battery. I ain't gonna show you what the name brand is. But check this out. I got two slow blow fuses. So that the battery doesn't fucking short out. Now check this. Peep that, expert bike builders. Yeah, jealous? <laughs> ah, shit. Anyway, got one on this bike too, but flashlight batteries. See, watch. Ah, yeah. And then I got a high beam and low beam on this one. There's a low beam, there's a high beam. Okay, right? And then, watch this. I'll shut my garage light off. Got the machine here. Get back here a little bit. Now that's bright as fuck. Now, the bike over here, that battery is rechargeable. The only problem with this bike is I have to keep buying batteries, but. Eh, I kind of like the green one a little bit more, but the Schwinn is fucking old school. That's a 1972 Schwinn Supreme Cruiser. I think it's a 53 some centimeters uh, fucking frame, and this other one's like a fucking mongoose oversized frame. The only difference is, I'm going to turn this off, say a battery. Turned it off, but watch, the other one's still on. And then I turned the other ones off. Also got warning lights and all that bullshit. There you go. Because you know, people out here, they don't know how to fucking drive. And 
they'll try to run you over and shit. As far as I'm concerned, uh, if you ever read the fucking driver's manual, okay? For you people that think you know how to drive and shit, okay? Driver's manual says to share the fucking road. Most people don't want to share nothing. Anyway, peep the license plate. Read what it says. My shit doesn't require microchips or fucking whatever. I don't need no fucking car. I don't need no microchips. These fucking bikes work off a CDI unit and a fucking ignition coil. Now, the only reason why this frame works, okay? I teach you bike builders a little something something, okay? This is a mongoose oversized frame. And this is a 50cc engine. Okay. Now, if you look down here, the motor mount here is real fucking wide. Okay. And then the bottom mount, all you people said that uh, Bike Berry has um, parts that don't fucking work. That's not entirely true because I got this bolt, this bolt, this motor mount right here. This is a thick piece of fucking metal got that from fucking bike berry and this engine doesn't move it's mounted on there okay and the back mounts are from the same fucking company see I'll show you this mount and the front mount up there bike berry these bolts bike berry and this part right here in the middle it's not spray painted yet Got that from Bike Berry as well. All you people out there said that um, Bike Berry doesn't make quality parts. You're fucking lying. So stop fucking lying and stop giving Bike Berry a bad fucking name. Okay? Now this gas tank needs painted. Never got around to doing that. Might paint it blue or a different fucking color. I think this is a 3 or 4 liter tank. This one here is a, mu a much smaller tank. And on mine, it's a locking gas cap. Yeah. Because I know all you motherfuckers out there like to steal fuel and shit because you're too poor and too cheap to, food, uh, to afford premium high quality gas. Yep. So these bikes, they don't require no microchips. I don't need to rely on Chinatown to have my shit fucking working. My shit has never broken down. The fucking green bike has been my dedicated daily driving fucking bike. Drive it all around town. To the store and back. And to Walmart, anywhere I need to go. This one over here, I need to fucking tune when I get around to it. Parts are over here. See? This is the uh, magneto cover for the fucking motor. See, I'll show you. It's the same size as this one. See? Nothing special. This one don't have a pole start. This one has a pole start. This was originally the cover. It used to go right there. And then I got the little carburetor parts right here. See, there's the two. Um, uh, I forget the fucking name of it. I think it's the carburetor floats. There's two of them. It's like oxygen. Uh, Balancer for the engine. This is the other part for the fucking carburetor for it to breathe. And then the little fucking parts are at the bottom. See the jets? I gotta figure out which jet works with the fucking Schwinn Supreme Cruiser. Yep. So thanks for watching my video. I hope all you motherfuckers are jealous out there because that's how it is. Keep driving your $45,000 cars and $60,000 cars 
and you other people are trying to get electric vehicles, huh, you ain't gonna drive very far. Thanks for watching.